It was a windy day today. So, this wood stove that I made a few years ago has done well enough, but I've learned that, you know, just having a charcoal fire in the open without a chimney and in a movable hearth type thing, metal bowl, works far better and produces far more heat. And also, I never really got the, I never got it down right where I could keep putting stuff in there and, and burning it. I would, I would burn it for an hour and it still wouldn't even heat the workshop up in the coldest months. And it's clear that I need to just get used to having it cold in here. So, this is taking up so much space that could be used for other things. I want to put a workbench back there and it would be pretty good. I'll still keep this though because it's a very nice little wood stove, just not good for this particular building. Those are locomotive pistons, by the way. Came off of a locomotive. Now, one thing I've learned is that the, um, that silicone caulk for furnaces, which I might have a tube, a caulk that I use, it ended up turning into a powder. I may have gotten it a bit too hot, actually. But it actually worked quite well. It probably needs, like, a yearly application. One thing I really want to keep is the creosote, but yeah, I've burned this thing so hot that I haven't had too much creosote. Weird, there's a bunch of like, I guess things are blowing in from the smoke out uh, of the chimney. Ooh, lots of shit coming down. Yeah, I made sure to burn this thing extremely hot though, so there isn't as much buildup as there was last time. And that's after two years, so that's not bad. I may keep this for a dust extractor. Maybe remove that pipe right there. Now this is absolutely packed with ash and um, a lot of this, wow, look how fluffy that is, still in the shape of the wood. Well, it's so windy outside that I know if I scoop this into a bucket and take it outside it's going to explode my face from all the wind. So I'm going to try to actually keep this in here. We'll move this wood stove to behind my workshop and then whenever I'm doing gardening I'll come to here and take a few scoops out for uh, spreading them in the garden. You know, I cannot remember how I got this up here. I guess I walked it up onto the bricks. Look at that, it's already sucking the dust out. I knew that'd be bad if I just tried to shovel it out and take it out. This thing had so many holes in it. I couldn't even weld them shut anymore.
Oh my god, fucking hell. I don't remember that thing being so fucking heavy. I'm not strong enough for this shit. Gonna get all level. Level now. So I took a little break from the workshop for about three days and I came back out here and I forgot how much I cleaned it up. I was quite surprised. I'm glad I went through that week of just <sighs> cleaning. But to wrap up, there's a few more things I wish to do. I wish to get rid of that, that chimney pipe. Maybe move it and store it outside. And then also, I've been needing to move some of the trees in the tree garden pretty soon. Now the tree garden started where I had a burn pile, where I burnt a bunch of wooden desks and plywood and such. And it was always in a part of the yard that was rather dead, but then as soon as I burned that stuff, the yard just exploded with growth, so I let some of the trees grow up. But, you know, I should just go ahead and clean up that stuff. Whenever the trees started exploding, I was like, wow, I didn't realize, I didn't realize burning that stuff there would, would just revitalize the yard. So I didn't want to remove it in case any more of the nutrients needed to get into the ground whatever was going on I didn't want to stop it but now it's been two years and the trees are going to like 12 10 feet tall and uh, so now it's finally time to dig up all the ash and whatever stuff was left over from that those desks or whatever but yes chimney pipe
So back in 2017, I found this in a barn that I was helping tear down. It's a chimney sweep kit. It's a shame this is a bit too big for that pipe, but the fiberglass is great for this. Actually, these pieces are kind of universal. So many uses. <coughs> Where the hell is my tape? I will add that to the list of things to stock up on. Tape. I haven't bought tape in a while. Like three or four years. That might not work because of all this wind. Look at all that beautiful black pigment. Great for some future paint. Well, my uh, 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 soot that I got last time, a couple years ago, I guess like mice have been hiding nuts in there or something, so I'll have to filter that. But I couldn't find any big containers, so let's see how much we can fit into here. I don't care. <laughs> it is funny how you just burn a little bit of like wood and stuff and the plants are just like woohoo because just over there the trees only grew to that tall. And over here, they're, well, okay, in winter, they're a little shorter, but during summer, they have the little offshoots and they're a lot longer.
because a lot of this is really good, good uh, ashy soil now that I'm throwing away, but oh well. I just looked it up on the bottom of this chair. And this plastic chair, we got in 2001. Can you believe it? I'll be, I'll be a little bit sad whenever this chair finally dies, but oh well. It's always held up. I don't think I'd trust anybody that was heavier than me to sit on it though. <coughs> so that's a lot of good progress done this week and the trash can's full of ash. And don't worry, don't worry. They have a machine now that, that lifts up the trash can. So the people don't even touch it anymore. And it's hydraulic, hydraulically driven. So as long as that thing can hold it, the machine can lift it. Although on our, on our, our last um, trash can, the, uh, the part started splitting and so they, we had to replace it. But we, but we now have that other trash can which we can use for compost. So now I got a good amount of cleaning done. I've gone back and cleaned a little bit in the house, and I might do that more. But now that I have so much space opened up, I can go back to doing some projects. And then maybe go back to cleaning in a few months, but there's a lot of, uh, right now, doing projects would help clean up as well. One last thing. I am working on designing a do anything toolkit. I want to be able to fit as much capability <coughs> oh fuck as much capability into a single toolbox even a big one so I'm thinking about what tools would be best for that I might be able to get it pretty simple I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching before I sneeze again see ya uh.